What's this? Oh. You must be the Nora who bushwhacked my camp. And disabled your bomb. Did you now? Well, bomb or no bomb, I'm gonna splatter that throne with blood. First yours, then Avad's. I've led an army. Killed the men. Ravager. That savage is nothing. Jess, coming your way. <sighs> Here it comes. Last thing you'll ever see. It's not over yet, Nora. Any good Osaram Tinker will tell you. Always have a third plan. Majestic murder of yes. the
as much as I wish Ursa was here to kill you. I don't mind doing it for her. Go ahead. I'm not afraid. Except that knowing you, Eren, you'll screw it up! I know what you are afraid of. Going back to Mainspring in chains. Every clan in the claim wants you dead. And they know how to make it hurt. They'll even bid for the privilege. It's just like you to get someone else to do your killing. Shut up. You're at the Sun King's mercy now. Aloy. And because it's hard to imagine... We're... I suppose it's obvious, but we couldn't be together. The Union... Did. Only one. For now, as for my father... I know who... I see. When... I'm not sure yet. And we will do... Aloy, she would have but and I get <laughs> yeah. You did don't give me Yeah. Come on, stop. So I had it like how <gasps> for like in fact Well I you know now I try not to I'll always two probably needed to wash.
Can't be too prepared. Save this for later. There are the handholds, where we said they'd be. Did you get that silence? No? Fitting name you got there. All right, what now? We can't wait, that's what. Take a seat at the campfire and rest. When night falls, we'll talk. At least I'll have a fire to keep me company. How nice of you to finally drop by. Our purpose this night is to crash the focus network. Yeah, tell me the part I don't know. How? For starters, you'll need to infiltrate the Eclipse's main base. Wait, what? That's right. Fortunately for you, I brought you around to the back way. It's right through that crevice. Once you reach the base, you'll see the objective. A derelict tall neck that's been extensively modified. Climb the Tolnik. Grafted into the top of its disk, you'll find a module of sorts. Destroy that, and the focus network will crash. So you were part of the Eclipse? I've never been part of anything. I serve my own interests always. But it is the case that I assisted the Eclipse before I sensed the threat they might become. It was a mistake that I'm doing what I can to correct. 
What sort of assistance did you give them? Head through that crevice, Aloy. You have more important things to do than ask questions. in the distance. Pay that no mind. Doesn't concern you. Thank you. 
getting close now. Head for that ridge. The tone Just over this ridge. You'll see it when you reach the top. Now be ready to act fast. You need to get in and get it done before they raise an alarm. Here we go. You getting this? I see the legs of a tall neck down there, but no tall neck. Damn. The transmitter's been moved. Check down the ravine to the left. Only place it could be. So much for your insider knowledge. Toward the explosions. Great. You got exactly one shot at this Aloy, so spare the sarcasm and make it count. You see that bridge over the ravine? Yep. Memorize its location. There's a rappel point on the side. That'll be your way out. And these Eclipse troopers? Avoid them, or kill them, your choice. The blasting should cover any noise you make. Find the tall neck and destroy the module on top. Go. Nice not to be working in the pit tonight. All that. Dude, I see something. Near the power of the shadow. Incoming fire! Please! Is there fighting up ahead? No. It's a mining operation. So long as you're quick, it won't affect you. Oh good, another secret. Just find it and get to the top. Destroy the module and then get out fast as you can. Sure is a lot of blasting up there. Sounds busy. Busy enough not to notice you, let's hope. I see it. They've built some kind of structure around it. Climb it. The sooner this is done, the better. I don't like this. It feels wrong. Everything here is wrong. Just get to the module and destroy it. I see the module. Quick. This 
This is Hades? Aloy, this is not the time. It's... the Metal Devil. Open the module's casing, now. Aloy, do as I say or all is lost. going, but you survived. You knew Hades was there, and you sent me to him? I won't deny I risked your life, but it was the only way. Now, with the focus network down, we can both get what we want. Access to the secrets of Zero Dawn. I'm past trusting you with secrets. Good. That means you're wising up. Trust is for fools. It shifts and crumbles like sand. A poor foundation for any partnership. But mutual self-interest. Now that is a solid bedrock upon which you and I might build a new science of understanding. We both need answers, Aloy. And thanks to you, we're on the verge of grasping them. It's unfold. We'll speak again. You miserable... Damn him. If I could toss this focus and be rid of you, Silence, I would. But we both know I need it. Sunfall it is. And Zero Dawn.
one fall. The Mad King Duran's summer palace. A bulwark of Karja might against the howling forbidden west. Thanks for the history lesson. But they have no idea what lies beneath. We will learn much from this Aloy. That's what I'm hoping. Children in the camps. Hard to believe it's gone. The sun. At least, when we know. Now we get to see if your attack on their focus network was entirely successful. <laughs> Success. Welcome to the Citadel, Eloy. I'll check back with you in a moment. I fear this. In the meantime, is a ruse. circulate. Outlanders, if you want to hear about today's bounties, head for the throne room. You're not going to make any shards by standing out here. I hear the Shadow Carja are looking for one of their own. Should pay well. By the glory of the sun revealed. Behold, Radiant Edaman, the one true Sun King. The light in shadow, whose will is light and whose light is law. I command Lucian Bahavas to speak in my behalf. By the will of Radiant Edaman does the sun glare down mercilessly upon the traitor Uthid. To the hunter who brings his head to us shall go a bounty of 500 shards. More prisoners than royalty, don't you think? Hmm. You and I need to chat, little Huntress. The green tent down in Shadowside? I'll be waiting. Kind of busy. We both know you don't kill for hire. Uthid is innocent. So come see me while there's still time to save him. So, the way in I spoke of is right behind you. You've got to be kidding. Not at all. And you needn't worry about the Kestrels. They'll be too busy acting important to pay attention to you. First time in the Citadel, gotta see the sun ring from on high. Oh, the Kestrels. Ah, they want us to see this, boy. This is insane. It makes quite an impression. Hardly. The balustrade. It's a short drop from there. All these outlander mercenaries. <laughs> Other side of the tower. Look for a vent. I see you've been here before. Obviously. Now, it's very important that you hear what I'm about to say. I've shown you the way in, but this humble vent marks a point of no return. Before you descend into the depths here, you should be fully committed, equipped, and focused. No distractions. If you have errands to run, do them first or hold your peace. I won't tolerate whining. 
Is that clear? You'll tolerate what I give you, Silence. I didn't ask you along for the ride. I'm heading down. I've spent a lifetime trying to uncover the secrets of this world. Where the machines came from. How the old ones achieved such marvels only to fall into silence and death. A lifetime of failure. As year by year, decade after decade, I hit walls I could not break, doors I could never breach. Hello. Until Honora Huntress marched out of the savage east. And voila, for her, all the deepest secrets of the Earth were laid bare. I suspect you will have an easier time with this door than I did years ago. Hold for identiscan. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Malfunction. 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 Are you kidding me? You don't hear me laughing. Shut up. There's gotta be another way. Hey! Elizabeth Sobek here! Requesting access! Access request acknowledged. Root command functions available. Do you wish to proceed? I do! Get me through this door! Analyzing. Primary access inoperable due to mechanical failure. Emergency venting procedure likely to circumvent blockage. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Emergency venting authorized. everything that will draw attention we won't have this place to ourselves for long now we last i checked i was the one risking my life down here yes fine now will you please get moving Found it. Are you really so surprised? Facility diagnostics detect multiple failures. Attempting repair. So, what is this room? An entrance hall, perhaps. Have a look around. Please take a seat and wait for your name to be called. A selection of beverages and snacks are available. A smaller room. Please proceed into viewing room one for an important message regarding the purpose. Holographic theater. CD unbound data intact. Initiating playback. 
Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. I am General Harris, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States of America. I'm sure you've heard the rumors that Zero Dawn is a top secret super weapons program, the technological miracle that will save us from the Pharaoh Plague if Operation Enduring Victory can hold off the robots long enough. The reason I'm sure you've heard the rumors is that I'm the one who spread them, and they are all lies. Zero Dawn is not a super weapons program, and it will not save us. Nothing will save us. And here's why. By the time the glitch was noticed, it was already too late. Nothing could stop the Pharaoh Plague. Nothing can. Its robots will continue to replicate and devour the biosphere. Life on Earth will be destroyed. Our planet reduced to a barren sphere. Global extinction is inevitable. No matter how many we kill, the robots just keep exponentially making more. If we had their deactivation codes, we could shut them all down. The entire swarm. But since their cryptographic protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, cracking a code set would take half a century. At best, we've got 16 months. Not exactly what you'd call a survival option. The destruction of a biosphere is not the sort of apocalypse you can wait out in a fallout shelter or a space station. There will be no Earth left to reclaim. Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million pharaoh robots on it, hibernating waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. My lies. Lies designed to inspire millions of innocents to sacrifice themselves in battle. Why? One reason. To buy time for you and the work you will do here. Zero day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. The hope of Zero Dawn is that something new might come after. But I will leave it to Elizabeth Sobek to shine that thin ray of light into the darkness. Harris, out. Life on Earth didn't cease to exist. He said it could not be stopped. But it was. Somehow... Somehow Elizabeth saved us. I've, I've got to keep looking. Find out how she did it. Kestrels. They got in. Through the vents. Let nothing stop you from learning the truth. Spread out! If it moves, kill it! What is this place? Tomb? Yow! Grab this while I can. Wake up, Mommy Joy! Be it! We're too close to let tribal primitives stop us now. The data points, what did they contain?
DD02 data intact. Initiating playback. Elizabeth Sobeck. You've heard the bad news, and it's all true. The Pharaoh Plague is devouring the biosphere. Life itself will cease to exist. But does that have to be the end? What if we could give life a future? What if we could build a kind of seed from which, on a dead planet, life could blossom anew? This is the aim, the hope, of Project Zero Dawn. To create a super-intelligent, fully automated terraforming system and bring life back from lifelessness. What would such a system require? At its core, it would need a true AI, fully capable of making the trillions of decisions necessary to reconstitute the biosphere. An immortal guardian, devoted to the reflourishing of life. We call it Gaia. Mother Nature as an AI. But that's just the core of the system. She will need to be surrounded and empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of them as extensions of Gaia's mind, each dedicated to a specific purpose. Now these aren't AIs, but make no mistake, each presents an engineering challenge more profound than anything the human species has ever before attempted. Hardware that preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. The construction of underground facilities to hold it all. And that's just the start. We don't have to build the entire system. The beauty of a fully automated terraforming system is that it can build itself. Now over the days to come, you'll learn how all these functions, all these pieces that you'll be working on, fit together. How we'll race the clock to execute our harvest initiatives, write the software, build the tech and the facilities. How we'll lock it down and seal it up before the inevitable occurs. But even more important, you'll know how it doesn't end here. How Gaia will generate those deactivation codes General Harris talked about, and build the transmission arrays to broadcast them, shutting down the feral robots for good. How Gaia will not just build, but imagine any conceivable robot it needs to do its work across centuries. From detoxifying the Earth's ravaged atmosphere and poisoned seas, to the regreening of the Earth from cryopreserved seed stalks, to rewilding the Earth with animal life. And then, when all that is done, how a new generation of human beings spawned at cradle facilities around the globe will partake of Apollo. The vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement from which they will learn of us, our world, and most important, how not to repeat our mistakes. It's not an impossible dream. It is within our grasp if we work tirelessly and stop at nothing to achieve it. We can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia, we can give it a future. Join me and help make that future real. So, the whole earth destroyed, but then remade? Yes, by a machine, a machine of creation.